In this video, I'll be installing an STR panel on Countable VPS. Afterward, I will install WordPress and create a website using Candace theme. I'll also run a load test using load.io. Make sure to use the link in the description to avoid any setup fee. Now choose a plan. This one goes for $5 with four virtual core CPUs, 60B RAM, 100GB NMV, or 400GB SSD, one snapshot, and 32 terabyte of traffic. So I'll be selecting this plan. Okay, it's a $5 plan. If you go for 12 months, you save another $5. So I'll be paying monthly. And these are the features, I mean, yeah, this is what you get. So now I need to select a region. One thing you should know is that for each region, there'll be an additional fee for whatever region you choose. In my case, I'll be choosing the European Union, and then I will end up using Cloudflare CDN to save money. So I'm choosing the European Union. I'll be paying $5, no setup fee. Okay, choose okay, the storage type here. I'll go for the NMV 100 GB instead of the SSD storage. Then you need to choose an image. Also, you can choose an operating system, which is the same operating system. We also have hubs, some are paid, some are free. Okay, for those who are interested in um, blockchain, we have also apps for blockchain. So in my case, I'll be choosing Ubuntu 20.04. And then you need to create a password. Remember, you'll be logging in as root. So this is the password I choose. We have a password generator there. Make sure to save this password on Notepad or on a Word document. Save the password that you generate. Don't lose it. We'll be using it later. Okay, we are done. What else do we need to do? So fill your information. And you can see we have different payment method, PayPal, Visa card, and so forth. So I filled in my information, my email, and then I'll click next. Now I'll make the payment. I'll use PayPal. You can also use Visa card or credit card. So I'll use PayPal. Okay. I've connected my PayPal account. And so this is the invoice. So this is what I'll be paying for. $5.5. And now I will make an order and pay. So give it a second. Okay, it's done. Your payment and order has been received and is currently being provisioned. So if I go to my email, I see I've made the payment, $5 to Contabo. And then you receive several email. The first one will have your details. So with this one, you, have, you can see your IP address. Here, that is the IP address. I want to connect that IP address to my DNS manager with my domain. I'm using Dynadot. So I'll select my domain name. Under Actions. Go to DNS and then I'll put an A record there. And what else do I need to do? Okay, I also add a um, subdomain for the panel that will be installing. We'll be installing different panels. And then I'll make sure it's an A record and then I'll point it to this IP address. And then I'll save it. And allow it to propagate so 
So I'm done. There, okay. So you can see your order is successfully. Now I can log in. To log in, I will need to go. I will have an email address with my login details. You can see that is my login details, my email, and a password that has been sent. So it's performing a security check and it is done. If you're interested in two factor authentication, you can activate it. So for the purpose of the video, I'll skip that. I'll go there under VPN, connect, you can see you still have your server, IP address, the IT is. And then a few things you can do here. You can restart your server, you can stop it, you can reinstall it can rescue server you can get a snapshot and so forth if you forget your password for the server you can reset it here under manage go to password reset so now we'll be installing STR control panel on contable so go on documentation and see under start you see the requirement the minimum requirement here is one core CPU for a 64 bit system and then the memory, the disk, the operating system, you can run on Debian, you can run on Ubuntu 20.4 or 22. And then what else? Okay, so we'll be running this installation script. I'll leave it in the description below or leave the link. And then we have this custom installation script, which I've also customized it. You'll find I'll leave the better version of it it's also available on my website so those are the two script we'll be needing to run so the first thing if you don't have party just go to partygen.com download party for windows and then scroll down to area of partygen i'm using a 64-bit system so i'll be installing installing that one and then after extracting just click on party now you need to enter your IP address. That's your IP address, copy it. Enter your IP address there. And then just call it STM, control panel, click save, and then open. Avoid the, uh, just ignore the warning, click accept. And then we are logging as root, just type root, and then click enter. Remember your password, right click your password there. And then click on enter, make sure you have the same screen as mine. So now I'll we'll be copying the first script. Go to party, right click, and then we need to now choose this second script so I'm modifying the second script we have three items we have an email so make sure to change that to your own email we have a password change that to a strong password and then we have a host name which is a subdomain we created in our domain manager you remember that subdomain yes it can be CP it can be anything just create a subdomain and email address. Make sure to change those details. Now I'll copy this script. And then I want to right click it here. Right click and then click enter. And allow it to run. So it's running. I need to give it time. So it's saying it to take around 10 to 15 minutes to complete. So please wait. So come back once it's done. So after a few minutes, it's done. Congratulations, you've successfully installed ST control panel on your server. So these are your login details. Okay, your credential. The password, you remember the password we chose earlier. Okay, so you can also highlight this. Remember when you highlight something on party, it automatically copies itself on the curly board. Then you can 
paste it on a notepad or, on, or on a Word document. The next thing we need to do, we need to reboot our server. Just type reboot and click enter. And give it around five to seven minutes to reboot to make sure everything goes all right. You'll get a message like this. So now let me, I want to access my STR panel. I'll copy that link, paste it there, and click enter. Oh, I've not given it enough time for the server to reboot. That's why it is not automatically installed. And it's a set certificate for me. So let me enter my details. So this was the password I chose during the installation process. After entering admin, enter your password and then you want to log in. So now I've logged in as the system administrator. You see I'm admin and that's my, okay, my system, my, Panel is not secured because I never gave it enough time to reboot. So go to setting, click on that icon, and you can see it's running Apache. We have uh, Mario database, we have Nginx, PHP, okay, Spam Assassin, and many other applications. Just click again, users. So now we need to add a user. I will click add user and enter some the details. So my username will be Joshua, Josh WP, and then that's my email and a strong password. Once that is done, click on save. As you can see, we have a success message. So now I'll log in as Josh WP. I'll click add a web domain to connect my domain name. So the domain I want to work on is joshwp.shop and then I'll click save. So we have a success message. My domain has been successfully created. So I'll go back to web, click on that on web. Then you can see your website or the domains you're managing. So it doesn't have an existing certificate. I want to assign one to it. Click on the person icon. And then just want to click on SSL for this domain and select all the three options. Yeah, all the three options. Leave everything else as default. Once that is done, click on the save button. And then we have a success message. Okay. So there are different things you can do here. You can manage your DNS here. If you're interested in a web mail, you can do that. You have a Mario database here and you can do backups there. For now, let's install WordPress. So click on install apps. Let's see what we have. So we have a one click install for WordPress. So I will click on setup. And as usual, enter your details. My website name will be joshwp, username joshwp, and then your email address. So for the sake of convenience, I will just use the same password or through to avoid forgetting password. So I'll just enter that password. This one is not recommended, but just for the sake of the video, I'll be doing that. And then click on save to update the changes. So we have WordPress installed successfully. So what we need to do right now, is just visit our website and see what we have. It is secured with an SSL certificate. And so this is the default WordPress theme. So it's loading. Okay, I want to access the backend, just type WP slash admin. And then enter. So now we'll be able to access our backend 
Okay, and then enter the details, your password and save that. I hate these messages. So let me disable them. Then go to appearance, themes. I want to install a theme. So we are, I will delete these themes. And also delete this one. So I'm left with one default theme. So I'm going to install a theme of my choice. And as usual, I will choose condense, install. Once the installation is done, you need to activate it. So now this becomes our default theme. I'll be using the starter templates. Just go install the plugin. Okay, I want to use the classic starter templates. I'll be using this first one for convenience purposes. I can change the colors if you're interested in doing so. So just disable that, click next and next, and then click finish and lodge. Then start importing the, the entire template. To install the templates together with all the pages, the plugins and everything. So let me open this website in a new tab and see what we have. So this is the website we have. You just need to customize it, just change the details to suit your needs. So it's an easy thing to do. So I'll run a page speed insight to see what we have. So we have a strong performance on the mobile and desktop. Desktop we have 99. I've not even done any performance tweaks and we have good performance yet. Okay, I also do a load test using loaded.io. In this case, okay, I will run a thousand, I will still, uh, run a thousand visits within a minute. Okay, within, okay, okay, change to a minute and then let me run this and see what we have. I want to see how the server performs. So we're running a thousand clients in a period of one minute. It's good, it's really good. It's a good performance. So let's see the average. So under response time, we see we have an average of 633 milliseconds. And then the clients that we were able to send were 999, and you can see the maximum and minimum time took for each client that's a strong performance a thousand clients in a minute is a lot so that's it we have successfully installed wordpress combination of str and contabo so make sure to use the link in the description to avoid the setup fee